It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Sally here. So I saw a trailer for Great Britain for a TV show, and I found it to be pretty uh, disturbing to say the least. In our naked education lesson, the teens are talking all things male. Hi. Hey guys. And they're about to get an eyeful. I've never seen like a full naked man before. I hope that the teens take away from today that nobody is out of place, that you can fit in, that you can stand out, but that it's all okay. The normalization of pedophilia is not anything new within the media. For example, there was a movie that was made in France that was called Cuties, in which the little girls actually performed inappropriate dances in front of an audience, and that was actually deemed to be okay by the filmmakers. There are also many people that try to say and argue that pedophilia is somehow a sexual orientation. There are some people that say, well, you see, pedophilia is actually okay. And there are some people that identify themselves as maps. This type of normalization not only is, of course, really much programming people to get used to the idea of pedophilia, but it's also very much morally deprived. First and foremost, I am not against the idea of sex education. I think it's actually a really good idea to teach kids sex education by the time they go towards, like, you know, their later middle school or high school years to know more about the male and female body. And the main reason why I would say that is because when they're actually in their adolescence, like a lot of bodily changes that happens towards them, and it's actually a good idea to teach kids about the changes about what's happening during that whole entire cycle. And because the nature of sex education, many kids actually have to ask a parent to write a letter if it's actually okay or not okay to see the content, and either the parents say yes or they say no, and I think it's actually a good idea to, of course, have these sort of things. That way, their parents are not actually shocked about the content that they're basically talking about in the class. That being said, how is it acceptable for any type of context, sex education or otherwise, for a grown adult to strip naked in front of a child? How is it actually acceptable? Unless that person is actually some sort of predator, how is this okay? I don't see how any of this is actually okay. This is like me trying to send a kid to a sex education class and the main thing that they actually watch during the sex education class is porn. Again, the whole purpose of sex education would not, of course, be, of course, how to bust the move in bed, but to teach about the changes in your bodies. And so it would not make any sort of sense to, of course, show a kid, like, a pornographic movie during the class. The same way it would not make any sort of sense to be naked in front of a child. Because we know, psychologically, that they cannot, of course, consent to such things. And because they cannot possibly consent to such things, it's inappropriate, no matter the time period, no matter the class or whatever kind of period, for which an adult can actually be naked in front of a child. This type of moral depravity is not okay underneath any type of circumstances. And I think more and more people need to call it out for what it is. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.